What's up YouTube, Zero here, and welcome to the place where gamers, witches, wizards, and superheroes unite. It's that time of the month again, y'all know what time I'm talking about. Loot Gaming Crate came in, that's right, just looked outside and literally this package was on my doorstep. So I need to not shake it because I don't know what's inside. I believe that this is the Halloween theme, I could be wrong. I'm gonna open it up with my handy dandy pocket knife. If y'all saw one of my last unboxing videos, unboxing my Harry Potter Funko, y'all know I'm not very good with a wand yet. So just gonna use the old fashioned knife. If you notice, my beanie is from a Marvel Loot Crate. If you haven't seen that video, check that out. But without further ado, let's unbox. I'm gonna let y'all see this first. And here we go, y'all see inside? Yeah. And I already know what this is from the advertisement, so I am going to pull this out. This seems like something new that they are doing. A collectible vinyl figure. It is a Psycho from Borderlands 3. This thing is definitely pretty cool. A few months ago, they did one of a Big Daddy from Bioshock, and that's also awesome. Let's take a look at the box. Psycho Bandit Knit Series, handmade by robots. I don't think this is... This is tape, so I can just open this up right here and take this thing out of the package. So, oh, here we go. Oh, slowly but surely wins the race, let me tell you. Ah, here we go. So, if you're wondering, even though it looks soft, it looks like it's knit, it's not. I, I'm not sure if y'all can hear that, but it is not knit. It's like a Funko. It, it has some pretty... It's a little solid to it. I'd say it's probably hollow inside, but it's definitely solid. It's not a squishy toy or anything like that. So it's something that you can put up that y'all can't see it when I put it on my desk, but it's definitely something that you can put up. I think it's pretty cool. It looks like they're trying to rival Funko, and I do think they're doing not a bad job. Not a bad job at all. I'm going to put this right next to my big daddy. That sounded weird. I'm going to put that right next to my Bioshock Big Daddy in one of my guest bedrooms. Or I may put it behind me. Who knows? All right. What's next? That is the card that we got. What's it? It looks like we have a coaster set. It looks like the box was damaged a little bit. I know I've sometimes had problems with shipping. It's coasters. So the box being kind of messed up isn't going to kill it. Let's take a look at these, though. And there's only, well, the reason why I'm shocked, the reason why I'm shocked, first of all, this is not the Halloween crate. It came in October. It's not the Halloween crate. I'm hoping I get the Halloween crate before, before Halloween. It's probably not going to happen. The reason why I'm shocked is there are only two coasters in here. Normally a coaster set has four. And this only has two. These are definitely cool. I really like the look of these, if y'all can see. If y'all have ever played Galaga, this looks pretty much exactly like it is. And then you see the back. It has... And this glossy, this glossy feel, it feels like this isn't going to move. This, this is not going to move. So these are definitely nice coasters. I really do like these. I've had coasters before that can just slide. These are great. But I am kind of curious as to why there are only two in here. So Galaga coasters, a Borderlands figurine. So far, not bad. I do like both of them. But again, weird that's only two coasters. All right, there's one, two, there's a couple more things in here. So we have a keychain. Now, they were advertising this, this Destiny keychain. can actually be used to open doors, kind of a, oh, hey, I don't want to touch, so let me open this door type of thing, a no-touch door opener. It looks like it can also double as a bottle opener, so it kind of has multiple uses. I'm going to touch my door handles, but I will use this as a bottle opener for soda and beer, maybe. It is definitely pretty cool. Definitely a pretty cool thing. This has some nice solid weight to it. I do really, really like this. I think it's going to be cool. Again, this is how you use kind of like the 
door opener. I don't really, I'm, again, I'm not going to use it, but if you want to do the contactless door opening, this is here. But bottle opener for me. So not a bad, not a bad keychain. And then we have the pin and the t-shirt. So I'm going to do pin first. And this says GG. So for those of you who don't know, I am a pin collector. I like more of the flashy pins though. I don't like some of the simplistic ones. This is more simplistic to me. I don't really know what GG is. I'll use the app in a second or use my phone in a second to see what it is. It just says GG, good game. I don't remember what this crate was the theme of this crate was so gg could be good game that's the only thing i know what gg means but i'll look that up in a second and now let's get into the t-shirt it's actually a really big box for not having as much in there i thought there would have been more in there but oh and look at this destiny they do partner with destiny and do a lot of destiny stuff for those of you who know i used to be a huge destiny fan kind of gotten out of it a little bit Beyond Light is the DLC coming up in, it's October, so I think it's coming out in a month. They've pushed it back a few times. That's actually pretty cool. A pretty cool design, it looks like. Well, since I'm a hunter, I'm going to say it's a hunter chilling, but it could be any one of the three characters kind of just chilling. It looks like some waves maybe, and Destiny 2 Beyond Light. And it's a nice color shirt. I definitely do like the color of this shirt. Blue is one of my favorite color. I can't even lie. I like all colors for the most part. So, so that's cool. Out of all of this stuff, I'm definitely going to say that this was by far my favorite. This thing looks awesome. The coasters are nice. Kind of weird that there are only two though. I like this shirt. I don't really need any more keychains. So it's kind of like, eh, I could take it or leave it. I think I lost my keychain that has a bottle opener. So I do have this now that I can use for a bottle opener. So that's nice. But again, it's kind of something I could take it or leave. It seems like they pushed Destiny pretty hard in this one. A couple of Destiny items. Let's take a look at this though. Let's pull out my phone and see where this GG is. If they'll explain to me what GG is. And then, then I can kind of... I already explained all the other. I knew what all the other items were, but let's see what GG is. And this, I think, will also tell me what the crate was. So this is August, I believe. And this is called Schooled. I believe. So just get this PDF going. And am I right? It was definitely not schooled. Nope, schooled was schooled was uh, last month. So this is the. So they sent me to the site. This feels like loot crate. This is loot crate in a nutshell. They sent me to the site, and they don't have this crate on there yet. They do not have the September Loot Crate on their app. The most recent one is August, which I didn't show on my channel. But this, I believe, is September. It has to be, actually. This is not the Halloween theme, the dark theme that's coming out, because that has Dark Souls in it. I think it has Prey in it. Some of the horror games, Dark Souls not really horror, but some of the more horror-y type games are coming out as a Halloween theme in October. So I probably won't get that till the beginning of November. This is not the Halloween theme. If anyone ever thinks that Borderlands is a Halloween theme, I I don't know, or Galaga. I want to dress up like Galaga for Halloween. I don't even know how you pull that off. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more unboxing videos. I mean, I got some cool stuff in here. I got some stuff that I probably won't use as much, but most of the things I'm either going to put up or are usable. I do like Loot Crate because a lot of their stuff typically are pretty usable. We got three items that are usable and then the pin that I love to collect 
and the figurine that I'm going to put up. So, until next time, peace.